Hello readers, Miss Holstein here, going to read you another Clifford series book. Today's story is called Clifford's Tricks. Now if any of you have dogs or pets, any animals, I'm sure that you've tried to teach them tricks before. And if not, you know that some other people who might have pets have trained their animals to do tricks too. So in this book, Emily Elizabeth is going to teach Clifford some tricks. And I see another dog in here too. So maybe we'll see another dog who can do tricks. Are you ready? Make sure to follow along with me with your magic pointer fingers or your tracking eyes in three, two, one. Clifford's Tricks. Story and Pictures by Norman Bridwell. Whee! A new family moved in next door. They have a girl and the girl has a dog. The girl said, hi, I'm Martha and this is my dog, Bruno. He is a very big dog. I said, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog, Clifford. He's big too. But she wasn't expecting that. Well, Martha said, your dog may be a little bigger than Bruno, but I bet Bruno is smarter. I will show you some tricks. Then Martha sent Bruno to the newspaper stand to bring her a paper. So I sent Clifford to bring me a paper. <laughs> he brought the whole newsstand. Martha said, Bruno plays dead better than any dog I know. He was pretty good. But not as good as Clifford. I said, Clifford, play dead. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> good job, Clifford. That was pretty good, Martha said. But watch this. Martha said, speak, Bruno. Bruno spoke. Arf! I hated to do it, but I couldn't let Clifford lose. I said, speak, Clifford. <laughs> Some people make such a fuss over a little bark. <laughs> Uh-oh, some people are mad and some people are happy. Martha fell down. <laughs> I told the policeman I wouldn't let Clifford bark again. I told him it was just a trick. They wanted to see Clifford do another trick. So I told him to roll over. That was a mistake. Uh-oh. We decided to take a walk while the policeman talked to Daddy about the car. Martha said, Maybe Clifford is a little bigger and a little smarter, but I bet Bruno is braver. We walked to the bridge. I'll show you how brave Bruno is, Martha said. She told Bruno to jump on the railing and walk. He was too smart. He wouldn't do it. Because that's unsafe, isn't it? Then Martha did a foolish thing. She got up on the railing to show Bruno how easy it was. But she slipped. Bruno was brave. He jumped in to save her. Good job, Bruno. But he just wasn't big enough or strong enough. Help! 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 <gasps> Who was that? It was Clifford! Hooray! The policemen were so happy that they forgave Clifford for smashing their car. Martha said, Thank you, Clifford. You are the biggest, bravest, smartest dog I know. Thank you for saving Bruno, because I love him more than any other dog in the world. I love you more than any other dog in the world, said Emily Elizabeth. Now we both know who is the best dog of all. The end. So in this story, Clifford kind of showed his own traits, his own things that he could do. And Martha was a little rude thinking that her dog was better. But in the end, I think she figured out that not just her dog is smart or brave or big, that other dogs are smart too, and that it's okay to love your dog as much as you do because Emily Elizabeth loves Clifford probably as much as Martha loves Bruno. What did you think of the story? 
Is there anything that made you think about your own pet? Thank you for watching. If you want to continue reading the Clifford series books, you can find it on the Scholastic Book websites in your local library and at the school library. Hope you keep reading, readers. I'll read to you soon. Bye-bye!